before the movie. Today's movie is not suitable for everyone. So big viewer discretion advised. Brave girl won't be victim. She will have her own vengeance. Today we gonna see sweet revenge of strong woman. And enjoy. Katie, Gemma Dowlender, is an aspiring model from Missouri who works as a waitress in a New York City restaurant. Desperate to update her portfolio, she calls an ad which advertises free professional photos. She then meets three Bulgarian siblings, Ivan, Joe Absalom, appears as a photographer, and his brothers Nikolai, Alexander Alexiev, and Georgi, Yever Baharov, as assistants. Georgi is seemingly infatuated with Katie, and she leaves after disagreeing with Ivan about her taking a topless shot. Later, Georgi arrives at Katie's apartment and proceeds to bind, gag, and anally rape her. Katie's neighbor, Jason, Michael Dixon, arrives and tries to stop the rape but is stabbed, leaving him to witness Katie's ordeals before he dies. Katie is force-fed ketamine by Georgie after his brothers arrive and renders her unconscious. When she awakes, she finds herself stripped naked and handcuffed to a pipe and lying on a dirty mattress in an old basement. She is gang-raped and tortured relentlessly by the three brothers. When she manages to overpower Georgie and escape from the building, she finds herself that she has been abducted to the rapist's home country and is in Sofia, Bulgaria. Katie goes to the nearest police station to give a statement. Detective Kirill, Georgie Slatterev, hands Jennifer over to Anna, Mary Stockley, a woman who claims to be from a rape crisis center. Katie tells Anna to go to American Embassy but instead, is not embassy she wanted to go but the house of Anna where Katie was sadistically tortured by the men. Anna turns out to be Nikolai and Georgie's mother, and takes pleasure of Katie's ordeals. Katie is returned to the basement and solicited to Vaco, Peter Silverleaf, who was one of the family's late patriarch's friends. Vaco tasers her genitals then rapes her, leaving her bloodied afterward. Ivan then comes down and beats Katie. Katie is placed in a box and buried alive along with Vaco's taser and her crucifix necklace, but the ground the coffin is on breaks and she falls into the sewers below. Naked and with nothing to eat, Katie begins stealing from a nearby church and is eventually caught by Father Damov, Valentine Pelka, who recognizes that she's a rape victim. He allows her to take food and clothing, and offers her a Bible. Katie is next seen outside the U.S. Embassy, but leaves before going in. Later, she returns to the church and Damov tells her that he knows she has been raped and offers supports. Katie goes back to the sewers leaving her Bible open to where Damov can read. After reading a scripture, Damov realizes that Katie seeks revenge against her rapists. Katie plans her attempt by first sneaking into and stealing money from Anna's house, using them to purchase clothes, weapons, and supplies. She places her crucifix in Georgie's coffee at a cafe afterwards. Katie lures Georgie into the sewers, where she captures him around the neck and then hangs him by his arms on the wall. She brutally tortures Georgie with a pocket knife, smearing fecal matter into his wounds to set infection in, then leaving him to die slow and painfully as he did to Jason. Meanwhile, Father Damov has contacted Detective Kirill, who realizes that Katie is still in trouble. Both men seek to save Katie from herself, in addition to help her see that justice would be served. At a nightclub that evening, Katie laces Nikolai's drink with ecstasy and he runs to the bathroom, where she violently drowns him in a toilet full of urine and then into feces. The next day, during a congregation, Vako sees Katie lurking about. He chases after her through the door into the basement where Katie strikes him with a rock. When he regains consciousness, he is strapped to a bed and is tossed in his genitals as he had done to her before putting a cable on his mouth. She ultimately electrocutes him to death by sending a powerful current of electricity through the cable. Anna finds her house has been burglarized and Katie pushes her through the fallen ground into the sewers. Anna is bound in a box and forced to watch while Georgie dies. Ivan sees the open ground thus realizing that Katie is still alive and has escaped, but he is later captured by her and tied to a table. 
Katie then tortures Ivan by having his testicles crushed. Elsewhere, Kirill hears Ivan and Anna screams and follows them to the sewers. During the tortures, Ivan reveals that Anna is his stepmother, who herself was Ivan's late father's victim before marrying her rapist. Nikolai and Georgie were products of Anna's rapes. Katie realizes Anna's sadistic nature, thus lacking any morality or conscience. Kirill arrives and holds his gun up to Katie when she's about to kill them both, who is then suddenly grabbed and strangled by Ivan. Kirill shoots Ivan in the head and lets Katie leave. Anna is left as the sole survivor, leaving her to be arrested by Kirill for her part in her family's crimes. In the final shot, Katie arrives at the U.S. Embassy and walks towards it before the screen cuts to black. Please subscribe for more movies.